how to make mayonnaise. Well, we're going to show you how we used to do it. We stopped making mayonnaise because it was um, difficult to do, hard to make. We'd put the ingredients in a bowl. We'd use one of these little hand mixers. You'd mix it, get it all ready. You'd have to slowly pour the oil in and all the other stuff in there. And it just took for a long time. Didn't really do it. So then we just started buying them. Uh, this little 12 ounce jar is 10 bucks for 12 ounces. So we try this out. We're gonna do it a little bit different way. We're gonna take a pint mason jar and then we're going to put our ingredients in there and use one of these blenders, um, which I believe they, what are they about $40 for? Around in there. Yeah, around in there, 40 to $50, which means by the time well, I make. I, I wanted KitchenAid. Right, That's... well, we've got a KitchenAid, so you know a little better. So by the time you make five of these jars full, You've got the thing you know, that's paid for. The mix, hand mixer just did not work very well. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to start off with, we're going to start mixing ingredients in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and crack the egg. Put one in egg, egg in there. And then we have, what is it, half a teaspoon of yeah. uh, salt. Yeah. And we're using um, sea salt. Sea salt, yes. You know, you don't have the iodine in the sea salt that you have in the other ones. So we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Then we're going to put in next, what is next we're putting in? The vinegar? Yeah, that's fine. Um, Either way. So we, we get... It's uh, unpasteurized, gluten-free. Yeah. So what it's we all use unfiltered. Yeah, use the unfiltered. It's a little bit better flavor. Um, Why well, use the other stuff? This is this is a little better flavor, and we use that when we when we cook. About a teaspoon. Yeah, teaspoon of vinegar, and then either Dijon mustard or regular mustard. We're going to use the regular mustard uh, we're this out time. Of Dijon. <laughs> yeah, we're out of the other one right now, so we'll just go ahead and. Uh, fill in about a, uh, about a teaspoon. teaspoon. Good. And do we put any oil or anything here then in there, or just just we eggs? Put a cup of oil in it. Okay. So I've put been using uh, um, I think I mean, extra virgin light. And the olive oil. Olive oil. So, you know, the, the, the brands don't matter, I don't think, but uh, just it's, get a good quality one. We're going to measure out a half a cup. A cup. Oh, a full cup. Of, and get the measurements right. Just and then all you do is pour it in. Now that's probably about 12 ounces right there before we whip it up because it's it's a pint jar and it's it looks like it's a little more than three-fourths of the way full. go over the yolk. Now, yeah, we go over the yolk. So now we're you're doing up the yolk first. Leave it all the way down. Now you'll see this whitish color coming up and get it coming up already to the top. So now you go like this. Gotta get them twisted on all the way, right? Try it some more here and see what. No, I mean it was done by this time. Oh, the last one. So something went wrong on this one. Now the eggs are room temperature. They're supposed to be at room temperature. Right. So that was attempt one. I don't know why it didn't work. I mean, it worked just fine. Now we worked it in this container last time. I thought we'd try it in 
in this container this time it might be the container that we tried it in so we're going to try it and see i just thought it'd be easier to just go ahead and mix it up in this one and then uh um don't have to transfer it so now we're going to measure out put the one egg in there the mustard We tried this one other time where well I've tried this one other time and it worked just fine so now we need salt in there and if this works then the only difference is the container we tried it in see how this one stays the same width all the way up this one actually gets wider so maybe that's what we need we'll find out in a second here Now our one cup of oil. Down over the yolk. Yeah, quite a bit of difference same in there. Same ingredients, different container. Now, the one thing that did happen is you stopped about well, three times well, while doing it. Because it, yeah, it, it came off. It started so. getting thick before yeah. this thing came off in that one. I don't know what So, was. I guess the key is, let's glass not do it. In, or something. Well, it's glass and it's a smooth side as these get wider. So, mm. um I don't know why. We got another paint jar. We can put this in. Yeah. Well, this stuff does get nice and thick. put that stuff into here and maybe get it to work I yeah we might know. have to try it and see just because otherwise it's kind of a runny mayonnaise eh? <laughs> oh it's a mess <laughs> <laughs> okay now we need the, a container to put this in what okay we're gonna transfer the uh mayonnaise into a, a quart jar here especially if this other one works then we'll have a little bit more in here i didn't have a pint jar handy used them all up in for other things freeze drying yeah i got some freeze dried stuff i just did a bunch of strawberries that i put in pint jars because i didn't want to put them in mylar bags and what i found with the uh, fruits and stuff like that if you stick them in a, a, a uh, what is it? A uh, freeze dried and then a vacuum sealed bag. There we go. Um, they kind of stick together. Okay. So there's there's the second attempt that worked. We're gonna pour this um, in here and try to. I don't think it's gonna work, but 
And no harm in well, trying. Right. We're going to make another batch instead of using a chicken egg we actually have a duck egg which is a little bit more egg we're going to try that so we're going to go ahead and crack that in there and anybody that has duck eggs you can see the the yolk is way bigger and of course dropping it from that far it kind of broke the yolk but that's okay uh, so now we're going to put in our half a teaspoon of quarter or quarter teaspoon of salt because you said it was a little strong yeah. last time well so we're going to cut this down a little bit although we have more egg no. so we could probably go there what you try different recipes egg. you know that's where you adjust it how you want to do it we're going to do this one no, with dijon this. mustard um as well uh, we've got spicy dijon <laughs> yeah we're going to lower the uh amounts now, the, the commercial one that we had earlier in, in the, the video, uh, that's made with avocado oil. Yeah, Sometimes we'll have to try the different oils and see what yeah. difference in taste is. But we know with the light, it, it doesn't really add a lot of flavor to it, even though it, it is olive oil. It's a light olive oil, so there's not a lot of strong flavor. Right. We're putting some Dijon mustard in there. And now, another half a cup of extra light. One cup. One cup. Yes. A half a cup twice. One cup of extra light virgin. olive oil. Extra virgin. Oh, extra virgin. Extra light. Extra light, whatever it is. Olive anyway. <laughs> Whichever you here, Here's what it is. Extra light tasting olive oil. <laughs> Brand doesn't matter, but... Now, when we look at this, we can see at the top, our yolk's down there at the bottom. And we'll look over here on the side. We can see the yolk is over there. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. So we're gonna watch this from down here a little bit lower. So it's gonna put it right over the yolk itself. Thick. There's a little bit of oil down there, but we, or at least it looks like oh. Oh, a little bit right over here. I don't know if you can see it, but. That's probably about all we're going to get out of that one. Does it go that way? Okay. Thank you. There we go. The problem we was having before is there is fun. there is a line uh, on here, right here, and there's also one on this piece, and they weren't being lined up. And when we get them lined up, you start it over here, over to this side, and then turn it on, it stays on. That's the problem we was having before. Not a problem with the kitchen aid, it's a problem with the operator, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. Sorry. Hey, now we know. So I, I never paid attention to it. 
Well, if I probably would have read the instructions on how to use it first. I, I kind of did, but it didn't tell me about those lines. Oh, well. Now you get to try that one. So we're going to try this. Yeah, it's got a complete different taste than the Is other better? one. Can we mix it it's, together? It's the, yeah, we could just mix them together and right. bit. Now we just mix these together. Now we've got. Is that the one I'm using? Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's the one I licked on. Grab another one over there or wash it. Yeah, that's the longer one I need, so I'll work it. That wouldn't be too bad if I was only eating it, but you can take the, the stuff that's from your mouth and it, it can actually introduce some stuff in there that might make it not last so long. So right. better just go ahead and wash it off. Now they're going to look a little bit different as far as color because the duck egg is a little bit different colors. The yolk is a little bit darker. And the whites are just just about clear, completely clear. So these are going to be a little bit different color. And it does have slightly different taste, but you know what? We're just going to mix them all together and well, we can... Well, we did regular mustard last time, remember? Oh, yeah, we did regular mustard. We had mustard. extra mustard and we had extra vinegar in there, too. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar, because we did a half a teaspoon instead of a quarter. This time yeah. we did a quarter. Yeah, and this one, because there's a little bit more egg, we could have got by with probably using the same amount. So. No, we used, it was the duck egg that came out right last time. The right. regular egg didn't. It came out runny. Oh, the, you had a duck egg and regular egg last time? Yes. Oh, okay. That might have been the difference, I'm not sure. Now we will stir this up. I don't want to use the machine because it might really screw it up but hopefully this will give it stirred up enough where it'll That'd be good enough anyway and in directions how long do they say this would normally last um up to a month in the refrigerator so I, now you want to try this one i think we'll use it. i'll just here let me do it this way oh okay come on a little better yeah uh -huh. Okay. It's all right. The there first go. one was good too. <laughs> okay. Here's your mayonnaise. <laughs> if you wanted to make a mayonnaise with a little different flavor in it, you could use garlic. You could put dill in it, depending on what you're going to use it for. Uh, you could make it with whatever kind of spices you want to put in your mayonnaise. Uh, just how, what you want to use it for. Now, at the plain mayonnaise, oh. you can always. If you want to mix in some dill with it, um, you know, if you can do like it with a cucumber salad, you could mix some dill in it and do that, all kinds of different things. So, anyway, that's how we discovered to make mayonnaise the easy way. And it seemed like the last time the duck egg worked good, this time duck egg, the chicken egg didn't work very well last time. So, we'll have to try um, a chicken egg again and see if it might have been just one of those things or if it's actually uh, the chickens don't work as good as the duck eggs the chicken.